Welcome to Fill My Run for the Ben Nevis Ultra. This is 52 kilometers, 4,000 meters of elevation. It's kind of the baby brother of the Glencoe Skyline. Not quite as high elevation. We go on Ben Nevis, Glencoe Skyline, go down there to Glencoe. 300 people taking part today. We're going to have a great time. It's going to be really warm, so these gloves are coming off very soon. That's Holly Page, one of the best female ultra runners in the country. So, just under three kilometres done. About 400 meters climb, so we've got to do that again nine more times. And it's quite technical running, but what do you expect in Scotland? Everyone is sliding, everyone is slipping, but it is hilarious and we love it. So uh, we are 13 and a half kilometres in. There's our first proper view of Ben Nevis, the summit up there. Beautiful river. This is a very boggy bit of terrain we're running on now. Everyone's slipping and sliding. Even though it's a lovely summer's day, it's very, very wet and messy underfoot here. It's kind of runnable. Um, but then you just get to a point like this here, where your foot just goes about three feet down into the ground. Let it not be said that the Ben Nevis Ultra doesn't rival the London Marathon for support. So on we go, up, oh, this is the climb now, up to the top of Ben Nevis. We're 18 and a half kilometres in, in four hours. And we're on a steep climb up now, getting on towards the arete which we need to traverse to get to the top of Ben Nevis. Quite hard going there, hard climbing. Uh, Difficult scrambling down there, and then we've got the arete now. This is more like it. I've, I've cut my leg. Bouldering all the way now, very sharp. Well, it's not very sharp, but it's you know it's sharp enough. Um, and yeah, look at that down there. So this is getting hairy, but it's good fun. 
I don't think we're going to make it now, are we? No, it's half an hour from the lake, this side. Oh, really? Oh. Well, apparently two and a half k to go, but I don't... We've only got 15 minutes to do that in. So it looks like it's game over. Um, there's at least two and a half k to go before the checkpoint. The cutoff is in 15 minutes. I just don't think it's going to happen. But we'll do our best. Still just under a kilometre to go to the checkpoint. I'm still running just in case they say cut off is at quarter past or half past. But I have a feeling in these events they're going to be quite strict and cut off will be enforced. I've not made it again fourth DNF this year didn't think I was going to DNF this one by any means I thought I'd make it never had to chase cutoffs before but last three races I've been chasing every single cutoff I don't know why I'm just not fit really but there we are So that is it and there's quite a lot of people still on that hill coming down so there's a lot of us being timed out here at uh, two o'clock after two o'clock which is a shame but never mind only you know 22k to go but maybe we wouldn't have made it by dark and did you miss it by 60 15 seconds nine miles, nine miles. Oh. mate i'm gutted and i've missed it by 20 minutes <laughs> Did you beg with them to let you go on? I didn't have the energy to speech, to be honest. I like, sprinted from the bridge over there. And like everyone on the way was telling me, oh, you can make it, you can make it. And then I got to probably where they stood there. So good, isn't it? Just really way. I can't believe the guy's asking people if they had a good run. It's really, it's, I'm really down about this one. I didn't, I didn't want a DNF and I, I didn't even think about it. And maybe that's why I did, because I didn't, I didn't think hard enough about the, the cutoffs and where I needed to be at, at each time. And I'm, uh, I'm a bit naffed off about it, to be honest. Well, I don't think I can stay any longer. Right, that's it. That's it from Film My Run. Um, fourth DNF of the year. Not happy, but there we go. See you for another Film My Run next time. Take care.